Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching TCM and this evening's lineup of films featuring one of the defining stars of classic Hollywood, Jimmy Stewart. We begin tonight with Stewart and one of his four collaborations with director Alfred Hitchcock from Paramount, 1954, Rear Window. Stewart plays a photographer stuck in his apartment during a heat wave. He's confined to a wheelchair, he's got a broken leg. He soothes his boredom by using his camera's telephoto lens to spy on his neighbors in his apartment complex. He gives them nicknames to liven up his story. An attractive dancer is Miss Torso. A single woman is Miss Lonely Hearts. One night, he notices one of his neighbors, played by Raymond Burr, behaving suspiciously. Stewart begins investigating, certain he's witnessed a crime. Help arrives in the form of Stewart's two excellent co-stars. Grace Kelly, she's his girlfriend. Thelma Ritter is his nurse. Rear Window marked the second of those four films Stewart made with Hitchcock. I think this is their best, just ahead of Rope, followed by Hitchcock's remake of The Man Who Knew Too Much. That means I rank Vertigo fourth. That's right, you heard me. Vertigo is their fourth best collaboration. I will fight you over it. I'm just kidding. I won't fight you. I'm not a strong fighter. I, I bruise easily. Hitchcock and Jimmy Stewart first worked together on that 1948 thriller Rope, co-starring John Dahl and Farley Granger. In the six years since that initial collaboration, Stewart's career experienced a significant post-war revival as the actor's previous on-screen persona of homespun charm gave way to playing more mature, edgier roles, particularly in westerns directed by Anthony Mann. Hitchcock appreciated working with Stewart, liked him personally too, Grace Kelly said that when talking about Jimmy Stewart, Alfred Hitchcock seemed positively gabby. During production on Rear Window, Hitch fondly remembered when an elderly woman made her way onto the set multiple times. While shooting his cameo for the film, Hitchcock plays a clock repairman in an apartment across the courtyard from Jimmy Stewart's. The woman walked over to the director and offered the correct time. Hitchcock scolded her before Stewart stopped him, saying she was probably someone's grandmother. As Stewart escorted the woman off the set, Hitchcock remembered she stuck her tongue out at him. Stewart followed her example and did the same. Here's the film, Paramount in 1954, Rear Window. Writer John Michael Hayes' treatment for Rear Window impressed Jimmy Stewart so much that he agreed to do the film for a percentage of the profits instead of a salary. He also welcomed the change in style from working with Alfred Hitchcock in their first collaboration, Rope, made six years earlier. Rope was made to appear that it was one long shot without an edit. It wasn't quite that. Still, it consisted of multiple long takes, nearly 10 minutes without a cut. Like Rope, Rear Window is what's known as a chamber film, meaning it takes place mostly in one location. Hitchcock brought his vision of the Manhattan apartment complex to life by constructing the largest set ever built on the Paramount lot at the time. In addition to Stewart's apartment, Hitchcock had the crew build all the apartments Stewart could see across the complex. In all, 31 full-scale apartments were built. 12 of those were furnished and had running water. Jimmy Stewart embraced the technical challenges associated with Rear Window, finding them satisfying rather than frustrating. As a result, the mood during production stayed light as the actor, director, and everyone on the set felt confident the picture would succeed. Rear Window became Stewart and Hitchcock's most successful film together, earned Hitchcock one of his five Best Director Oscar nominations, although famously, he never won. Ahead tonight, Jimmy Stewart makes a film with another frequent collaborator, director Anthony Mann, the Western Far Country from 1954 is next on TCM. Next on TCM, the far country. Then Mr. Hobbs takes a vacation. And later, the spirit of St. Louis. Fly the Stuart skies with TCM tonight.